Hello and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. My name is Rosemary Orchard and in today's show I'm going to be demonstrating Toolbox Pro and Charty. Toolbox Pro and Charty are not standard iOS applications in the way that you might download something like Drafts or Mapstra, shows that we've covered here before on Screencasts Online. The purpose of Toolbox Pro and Charty are to add actions to shortcuts. These are not the only two apps of their kind, but they're the ones I've picked for today's show. I'm going to start by taking a look at Toolbox Pro. So here I am on my iPad and in my dock I have Toolbox Pro, Shortcuts and Charty. I'm going to start by opening Toolbox Pro for the first time on this iPad. Inside of Toolbox Pro I can see a list of tools to start with. And as I scroll down, you may notice on the right hand side of some of the tools, there is a padlock icon, such as get text from audio. Toolbox Pro is a free app with a one time in app purchase to unlock additional shortcut actions. Each of these tools that you see here is a shortcut action. And if I tap on one of them, for example, get text from audio, we'll see a full description as well as what we need to give it, the required parameters, what we can also give it, the optional parameters, and what it gives us back. However, in order to use a shortcuts action from Toolbox Pro, we actually need to go to the shortcuts app. Now I can bring up my dock to do this, or if I tap tools in the top left to go back to my list of tools, I can tap shortcuts and jump straight into the app. Now here I can go ahead and tap create shortcut. Now I can tap into the apps section inside of shortcuts and if I tap Toolbox Pro, I see all of the Toolbox Pro actions. These are in alphabetical order, so not grouped in the same way they are in Toolbox Pro. But if I wanted to search, then I could go back and tap into the search field. And if I type text, I can search for a whole series of actions that include the word text. I can see the same get text from audio action. And if I were to tap on that, it will be added to my shortcut. I'll just tap the cross in the top right to remove the action. Now underneath apps and Toolbox Pro, we can see a whole variety of actions. Toolbox Pro isn't the only place to find out information about an action. Here I could tap on the info bubble on the right hand side of the action name or with an action in my shortcut, which I add by tapping it, then I can tap the icon in the top left. I'll remove this action by tapping the cross in the top right. Of course, more information is available in Toolbox Pro as we've seen, but as well as this information, we also have sample shortcuts. And to take a look at these, I'm going to just swipe my dock up and go back to Toolbox Pro. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So. If you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.